Hello, this is Rachel with Mic Drop Miniatures, and today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable anironics chairs. So the first thing you want to do is remove all the tape from your piece. This includes the protective layer on each of the pieces. This was put in place so that the laser does not harm the front piece of the boards. It takes a little bit of work, maybe some nails, but with a little time you can get it. All right, now that my piece is ready, I will set it aside, keeping the board together, keeping the pieces together so that I can easily identify each piece. So the first pieces that we will need is D. There's two of these, and these are called the seat side supports. We'll take these pieces with the curved side up. So here you can see the curve right there. Make sure that these are facing up. And then we are going to grab I and J. There are six I's and one J. As you can see, J is a little shorter than the I's. We're going to start with that piece and we're going to place it right where the curve ends. So I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going, here I'm using a wood glue as you can see, my bottle has a really thin tip. This is very helpful with this type of project. And I'm going to line them up. And again, I'm gluing right where the curve ends. So I'm going to make the sides flush. Carefully putting it in place, making sure that it is even it looks square and then I like to hold it in place for about 10 seconds just so it gets a good grip before releasing my fingers and then I like to wipe off any excess glue from the sides we'll continue now placing the eyes which are the other seat boards we're going to add four of them behind this smaller J board. I don't like to get too ahead of myself with the glue because I'm just not quite sure where it's going to end and I don't want excess glue to stick out behind the seat boards. This step is really important just to make sure that it's being square, they're all lining up. And if you want, you can leave just the littlest gap between each board if you'd like. All right, so let's add our last board. You can place something heavy on this if you would like until it completely dries to move on to the next step. Make sure my boards are all lined up here. All right, looks good. Again, you can place something heavy on it until it dries. So let's set that aside. Next, we are going to work on the arms. So you're going to want E, which is the arm, um, the chair arm rest, and F, which is the arm chair support. There's two of each. The rest, you can tell that by the way one end is curved. Now with these, we're going to make an L. Let's get a little of my pieces off here. I like to set up these boards the way that it would be placed in the chair. So it makes it easy to know what side to put the supports on. So a thin strip of glue. And I'm going to add this to the side, making sure that the backs, so the curved part is the front, making sure that this side support in the armchair line up in the very back. Wipe off my excess glue. And then we'll do the same with the other side, making sure that the, the support is on the outside always. So opposite of the one we just did. Same as the other one, I'm going to make sure that the backs are lined up and that it is square. So 
So important piece here, you definitely want these to set these aside to dry. For training purposes, I have a dried piece here. So this is what we are going to create next. These are the legs. For this, you're going to want H and G. And there's two of each. So here is G. And then we'll grab H. H are the little longer ones, and these will be for the front. You can tell the front again by the curved piece of the, the armrest. And we're going to measure now a quarter of an inch in from the sideboard. So a quarter of an inch on each side. Place a little mark, and that tells me where to put my front leg. do the same thing on the other side and now we know where to glue our legs you can tell the side pieces have a curved side an angle on the very top that tells you that that is for the top and you always want to make sure that your legs are facing inward so facing towards that curved part for the back legs, you're just going to make it as flush as you can with the back of the, the arm support. Making sure that your angle is up top and it's facing inward. Again, wipe off the excess glue. And we'll do the same thing for the other leg. Make sure that the angle's on the top and that the legs are facing forward. Now we'll attach H, which is our front leg. Again, making sure that the angle is on the top and that they are facing forward. We're going to line it up now with our marking, making sure that it is behind our marking, our quarter of an inch marking. A little too much glue. I like just to hold it in place for a second until it sticks. This is a very important part. Also, you want to make sure to wait until the glue dries. And make sure that the angle is on top because I almost glued it wrong. And glue it behind that quarter of an inch mark that we had made. So there are our legs for the chair. Perfect. Now set those aside to dry. And now we are going to work on the back of the chair. For those, we are going to need a so here's A, there's five pieces. And then for the supports, we are going to need B, which is the top, and C, which is the bottom. So we are gonna line this up. First, I'm gonna flip it over because we want to glue on the back side. So I'm gonna arrange these boards until they all line up perfectly. And then at going to measure one inch from the bottom board and we are going to measure three eighths i'm sorry one inch from the top <laughs> and then three eighths from the bottom and this is going to tell us where we're going to put our boards So we'll take this larger board, which is going to be on the bottom, and the small board, which will be on the top. And I'm going to fan it out so each board is evenly distributed, and it takes up that whole length of the board of board number B. 
Once I have it in place, I'll carefully take it off and then add little dots of glue all the way across. And then carefully place our board back on. Making sure that our board is on top of the line that you just created, that one inch marking. Okay, make sure that they're all lined up. And then we're going to do the same with the bottom board. We're going to make sure that it's on top of that 3 eighths line that we just created. Add a few dollops of glue all the way across and add our board. Again, this is another important step that you let this dry. I think that's the worst part of making dollhouse miniatures is letting the glue dry. You have to have patience. So once your pieces are dry, we will take the base of our chair and we are going to add the legs, which I have some already dried pieces here. And right where the small board ends is where you are going to put the leg. It's very important that you flip it up on its back so you know where to glue. See where there's the angle. So here, right where that small board is, is where we're going to glue the front of the leg. So again, angle it, flip it back on its side, and glue the front leg on. Very important just to hold it in place at least 10 seconds or so until it can attach itself. And then we will do the same thing with the other side. So I'll add a little glue where I know here where the other short piece is. Flip it back on its back and glue that front leg on. Hold it in place. I like to let this dry for a little bit before I glue the back pieces on. For training purposes, I have a piece that is already dried, so I'm going to now add the glue to the back legs. So this one is dry, so what we'll do is now add on the back support. What I'm going to do is slide it in here until it fits, until it rests comfortably. And then I'll hold it together with one hand, flip it over, and then glue the where the seat meets the back. A pretty generous line of glue here. Now if you want, you can tape this to hold it in place, or you can just let it dry the way it is. I like just sometimes to tape it. But that's totally up to you. See how the seat sometimes can move on you. So if you want, just grab some painter's tape. Let me grab mine here. Sorry, I can't seem to find the glue <laughs> or the tape. What I'll do is just add a piece of tape just so it can hold it in place until it dries. All right, my glue still looks good. And now you let that dry. The last thing you want to do is add the last two of the seat boards. So those were I. And we're going to glue them right here to the front of the chair. 
thin piece of glue all the way to the edge. And add on my seaboards. I just love making these chairs. They're so much fun. And they make such great beach scenes. Or maybe you have a dollhouse where they'll fit perfectly on the porch. What's great about these is they're the natural wood. So you could stain them. If you are staining, I recommend staining it before gluing. Because sometimes after you stain, you can see the glue marks. For a little extra support, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back area. Not really necessary, but if you want to give your chair a little more support, it's recommended. Okay, make sure my pieces are all together. And voila, there is your chair. So let me f find a finished piece for you. There we go. Isn't this so cute? I love it. So again, paint it, stain it, leave it how it is. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon.